Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today, my lovely writers? I hope you're doing well. You know what? Today is Thursday. So it's weekend and tomorrow and after tomorrow you can enjoy your time. So let's finish the lesson quickly because the lesson of today is super easy. If you look at the slide you will know what we are going to talk about today. Look at the boy. He's writing, right? And we are going to write today. Look at the title. Read the title of the lesson. So, the title is Personal Narrative. Personal Narrative. Wow! So, again, we're gonna talk about personal narrative. I can say now you master it and you know how to write a personal narrative. Before revising or let me say recalling all the information we have about personal narrative, let's read the day and date. So I need your help to read the day and date. So look over here and read the day and date. The day is Thursday, and the date is May 14, 2020. Thank you for helping. So, let's go back to the title of the lesson. So everyone, are you ready to start? Okay, so let's get started and read the title of the lesson together. So the title is Personal Narrative. What does a personal narrative mean? So, close your eyes. Try to remember. What does a personal narrative mean? We have studied before. About, or we have studied before, the way to write a personal narrative. Right, everyone? And we wrote a lot of things and I want to say something to you your writing is amazing I like what you have written about the things that happened to you it was very interesting some of you wrote about parties they attended or PE days UAE day celebration and a lot of wonderful things so thank you everyone and today also I want you to write okay and send me your work so I can see it because your work makes me so happy I feel so proud of you every time I receive your work so keep up the good work everyone so who can tell me what does a personal narrative mean a personal narrative means you're writing about something that happened to you okay so personal narrative means that you are going to write about something that happened to you in the past so you can use the simple past tense to talk about the things that happened with you before. And do you remember the song that we used to sing together about personal narrative? Yes. So, let's sing the song together. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. It's my own history. Wow! Can you sing it one more time? Okay. I have a special story. It's something that will tell about me. It's my personal narrative. 
It's my own history. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. So everyone, let's read our objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write a narrative with a clear sequence of events and relevant details. And here is the writing process that we used to follow and also we are going to follow today when we write any piece of writing. So the process is, or the first step is, rewrite. Rewrite when you think about something that you want to write about. And then plan. You are going to plan your writing. You will write your ideas down and we call this step draft. After that, you are going to revise your writing. Try to find the spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes. After that, you are going to edit your mistakes and then you will publish your writing and everyone can read what you wrote and also enjoy it. And here, okay, I want you everyone to close your eyes and use your imagination. Pretend that you have spent the day at the beach with your family. So we're going to write about this. So what I am going to do is to draw the beach. Okay, here is the sand. Okay, and then the beach. I'm going to choose the blue color. Okay, this is the beach. And usually people go to the beach to swim. Swim. I'm going to draw an umbrella. Okay, this is my umbrella. And a bowl over here. And something else. It's very sunny. Okay. Let me go to the yellow color. And draw the sun. Here we go. Okay everyone, I want you to use your imagination. Close your eyes and pretend that you have spent a day at the beach. So tell me what did you see? What did you do? And let's write about it over here. Okay, let's start everyone. So where did you go? We went to the beach. We're going to use the simple past tense. I went to the excellent and what did you do we built a sand castle let's say i swam i ate and ice cream and finally I built okay we need to use capital letter I a sand castle okay everyone and how did you feel at the end of the story I felt happy. Felt happy. Okay, everyone. Uh oh, we need to use capital letter. Please be careful. Make sure that your sentence starts with a capital letter. Okay, everyone. And ends with the first stop. Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to uh, use the things that you wrote in the previous slide and then, okay, make a narrative writing. You can take the beginning, the middle and the end of the day, okay, and write about them. So I'm going to show you something. We're going to use the transition words over here. 
So we can write first I went to the okay next I swam it's fixed capital letter okay what happened after that then I ate an ice cream what else everyone after that I built a sand castle finally I felt happy okay so what you are going to do now is to revise your writing okay so if you need to edit or you know to add more words or something you can do it make sure that your sentence starts with the capital letter and ends with a period uh, what else check your spelling mistakes your grammatical mistakes also and here I want you to revise your work as I said to you so far and then add some pictures photos or maps okay and after that you can publish your work so we are done I told you from the beginning of the lesson that the lesson of today is short and you can enjoy your weekend so happy weekend everyone see you next week bye stay home and be safe